Here comes a storm! Here comes a storm! What is up, Scar Knight Brand New? Let's play Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Yeah, I just wanted to slow down the time for right now. Uh, it's because, right quick, I wanted to start over the three day cycle for this Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask and you in Cafe side quest because I really wanted to show this part off and really wanted to slow it down before anything else. And I didn't want to interrupt myself in the intro, which is why. There was just moments of silence as I was playing the Inverted Song of Time. But if you remember in the last episode, we did most of the Andrew and Si- and, well, I almost said Andrew and side quest, side quest, or something like that. No, the major side quest between Cafe and Andrew. And as you can see, in the morning of 6 o'clock a.m., there is Cafe approaching the mailbox for the letter to give to Andrew saying that he'll come back someday and uh yeah here we go i really wanted to show this off because it i i i am not kidding the very first time i played i knew he was an important character because he looked different from all the rest i played legend of zelda or ocarina of time never seen this type of sprite at the moments i walked out of that clock tower and seeing this guy run down those stairs and goes towards that mailbox i knew he was important i even followed him the first time and uh, yeah, he turned in the mailbox and he's got to go head back to the laundry pool. And that is the whole thing about that. So in this episode, we're going to do another section of the Anjou and Cafe side quest. And also, looking in the background of Anjou and the Postman because they're both important characters. And the Postman lied to me saying he doesn't know. Did he just clip through the wall? Saying that he doesn't even know cafe and it's a secret you know he, he was bluffing it was an obvious bluff because he was like even if i did it's a secret that kind of gives it away i just want to show background to all of this because um literally if i wanted to i could just go cut off he, he walks kind of funny he runs kind of funny literally if i wanted to i could just go straight to the priority mail because that's the section i'm gonna do right now but um we're gonna hold that off for later, you know? We're gonna hold that off for later. Just saying right now. But yeah, he's just gonna go back into his little house. And we can't go over there because they'll be locked. So, uh, yeah, I just wanted to give that background. I probably could have sped up time, but at the same time... Um... It's just easier to explain this way, you know? Instead of just a minute of all this, me, me fast-talking, it's better this way. So yeah, even if I were to follow, if, even if I go before him or after him, the door's gonna be locked. It's locked, so yeah. And it's kind of interesting to note that uh, if you ring the bell right here, he actually will go outside the door. Well, I guess not right now. Maybe later, I guess. Um, but other days, like in different times, he does open the door just to look outside and then he just walks back in because he's expecting the postman. Uh, I'll just say that much. But right now, before I collect rupees, I'm going to go head back to, uh, I'm going to go head towards the Stockpot Inn. I'm going to go head there right now. Head there right now, and, uh, yeah. So, of course, the Stockpot Inn, um, the Stockpot Inn isn't open until 8 o'clock. And I want to go over there just to show some background on Anju, what she does throughout her day, you know. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go do that. Let's go run over here. And let's go check what she does. Um, well first I need to know where she's at. Is she... I might have missed it to be honest, but I, I just need to go check right quick. 
Is she in here? No, but this is actually um an important lady. We're gonna see in a second. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping father? Then let mother read you a story. Now, which story would you like to hear? Um, I'll pass for now, but thanks. Andrew's grandmother was at your notebook. So, yeah, she's definitely an important character. I just want to show background. I'll probably be back because this episode is going to have a lot of cuts in it, of course. Just like the last episode. But, yeah, just wanted to show this off. Um, yeah, welcome to the Stockpot Inn. Um, are you staying the night? Yeah. Eh, hey, are you staying the... You are staying the night. I'm terribly sorry. There are no vacancies today. We've been booked solid for reservations. It's also this way before the carnival. I'm sorry. I'm recommending making a reservation until next time you wish to stay here. Please pay this, uh, the stock pot in and visit in the future. Okay. So yeah, I'm going to put the time normally for right now. And I might be right back when, um, you know, important stuff goes down. Because I literally thought something's going to happen early in the morning. But I guess it's later in the day. But yeah, see you when it gets to it. Welcome to the Stock Pot Inn. We're here where we take services, except there's no reservations. So, girl, girl, you need to get the heck out of here. And uh, yeah, this is Angie, by the way. You know, she does all her things and stuff like that. This is Gorman. He's my father. And I'm his son. We have good times together. He'll never leave me ever because he is my father and he... Welcome to the Stockpot Inn! Where we're here and we have smiley faces! Where nobody leaves me! Right, Andrew, you'll never... You'll never leave me! Andrew! <laughs> we used to be a cafeteria, but after my father died, the room rentals that were part of our service became our main focus. We're just a small inn with only two rooms, but people from all over come here at this time of year. See the performances practicing outside? The second floor bunk room's guests are very spirited at nights with songs and dancing. The customers coming this afternoon will be staying next door to them, so I hope it'll be all right. Mm -hmm. So yeah, she cooks for the guests, or well, not really for the guests, but like she cooks for her grandmother, and it's pretty, it's pretty nice of her to do that. Please don't talk to me. I'm about to drop this plate. Oh. I'm sorry. I, I guess that's a good reason, but I hope... I, I just wish you didn't put it that way, but that's fine. I, I understand completely, you know, you don't want to drop anything. But, yeah, uh, the grandmother that I showed earlier, she's got to go to the food. For some reason, I thought this was, like, at 7 or 8, like, right before it opens and she goes here. But, no. Uh, but, yeah, here we go. Oh, Tortoise, I already had lunch. Grandmother, I am Anju. Tortoise was my dad. And you haven't had lunch yet. I already had lunch. Now be quick and take that away. Not eating is bad for you. Please eat. Didn't I say that I already ate lunch, Tortoise? Impossible, child! Phew! Then don't eat my food. I give up. Phew. Phew? Er, Phew, would you like me to read you a story? I got books like Gingerbread Man and the Three Basketeers. Oh, jeez. Anything else? Oh, to this, I already had lunch. Grandmother, I am Anju. Okay, but yeah, she says about the same thing. I, I really find this funny. And uh, yeah, it it's really cool to look at this type of background. And uh, yeah. <laughs> Phew? Or if you, would you like me to read you a story? I got books like Goosebumps and... And, uh, Fifty Shades of Gr I mean, Fifty Shades of the Sun, of course. Okay, so we're gonna get this treasure right now. You know, just because. And there we go. we go do that right quick. And, uh, yeah. So let's go over... To the West Clock Town. Uh, you know, I just want to go get that 100 rupees right quick. I believe now is a good time to go visit the postman. 
you know, just to look at his background. Oh, never mind. He's headed to East Clocktown right now. Maybe I kind of missed it, but that's fine. Um, all right. Well, before I go back, I'm pretty sure I could beat him there. But right now, I want to go get the 20 rupees right quick. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh, let's go put on the hook shot. I'm going to go get these 20 rupees right quick. And... I, yeah, I didn't think I was going to get that. I could beat him there. He's a slow runner. Actually, he's pretty fast, but I don't know. He just does this weird, perfect form like he's almost speed running or something. I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's go over here. And let's go to East Clock Town. And after the mail delivering, I'm going to go... I'M GONNA BEAT YOU THERE! HA HA! HA! Ho, ho, ho. Okay. It's just, you know, I just beat him there. I just wanted to have a little couple stretches here and there. And, uh, yeah, we got ourselves the Postman again. We already seen this, but I guess it doesn't hurt to see this again, you know. I'm going to skip the text, of course, just in case you have not seen it. You should have seen the last episode. It's very epic. I really like it indeed. And the episode before that, because I'm sure that uh, we've seen this before. But he's going to deliver the letter. It has, It is related to Cafe... And, uh, yeah, so right after, um, he gives a letter to her, we could talk to her as, you know, just having the cafe's mask on, and she will know that we are related somehow, and we're gonna have a meeting tonight around 11.30, but she's gonna be 30 minutes late and get there at 12 o'clock. But, yeah, let's go follow the postman right now, because he is headed over back to his, uh, his office, if you will. And uh, it's going to be interesting what he does because he likes to follow his schedule a lot. He's a perfectionist in that case. And um, other stuff is that, you know, we already saw the sign in the last episode that he is on a seal. Like Mayor Detour says, oh, the heavens and the wife is watching you right now. And, you know, it has a perfect schedule for him. And he, he thinks he's going to deliver letters perfectly whatever that means I mean you just hand a letter and then that's it I guess with you don't even smile or anything so how's it perfect but we're here in the post office and what is he imaginary like is he imagining a, like a bike or something except you pedal with your hands or something like that or are you I don't know what do you have to say though four five six Ah, why? You startled me! Do not interrupt my training! In my mind, I am running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Yeah, sure. Okay, so count 10 seconds in the precise moment you think you hit 10 on the dot. Just mark it. Alright, so 1, 2... Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Your time was nine eighteen. See, I told you it's difficult. You look like you want to try again. I'll let you try it, but it'll cost you two rupees. All right, hang on. So there is a different method of doing this. Uh, you could put on the bunny hood, and actually, you'll see the timer. Unlike how you saw it was three seconds, and then it went away. Put on the bunny hood and look and talk with them. Four, five, six. Damn it. What? Those ears. Oh, they're fake. You startled me. Don't disrupt my training. In my mind, I am running for exactly 10 seconds without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Yeah, sure. Okay, so he's not going to charge us, which is kind of interesting. And for some reason, it doesn't have the other milliseconds, and we could stop. Hopefully, I don't mess up here, because I really don't want to mess up. Oh! 9.9. Oh, almost. That was a close one. Oh, nothing. Just talking to myself. You look like you want to try again. I'll let you try it. it. I wonder, instead of spending two rupees, could I just talk to him again or something? Did he just say shoot to me? I could swear he says shoot to me. Yeah, I know about your mental training. Let's try this again. Oh, he is going to charge me. Wait, 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 wait. I got a, I got a theory here. I got a theory. What if I talk to him this way? Was he going to... 
Is he gonna charge me still? Alright, fine, two rupees. Jeez. I'm gonna try to do it without the bunny hood, but just to say right now, the bunny hood is the easiest way to uh, do this. So, one, two, three, four, five. I already lost count. Jeez. Now! Your time was. Oh! No, 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 no. See, I told you it's difficult. It's not that difficult. It's just like I kind of lost track and. I'll do it again. I want to keep trying. I want to do this without using the bunny hood. Your time was... Oh, jeez. That was awful. I press A way too soon. I need to focus, though, so I apologize if I'm going to be silent. I'm not doing it great, though, so I, I think I'm going to do, do it like this. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine... 10. Your time was... Oh, I got it! Oh, I got it! Your time was 10 seconds! I kind of looked at my audio. I kind of cheated, but at the same time, I wasn't exactly paying attention because I kind of said it in the middle of the second, like when I was looking at the audio, but whatever. Your time was 10 seconds! I got it! Huh? 10 seconds! That is amazing! You have really like suitable for a postman! Uh, thanks for showing me something impressive! I'll give you this! And there we go, we got a piece of heart. You got two pieces of heart. Collect two more to extend your life energy. I can't be like this, I have to train more, more! You showed your wild instincts. This was added to your notebook. All right, so uh, let's go talk to Andrew in 12 o'clock and let's see. Oh God, I keep getting hit by that thing. Well, I'm here again. And I need to go use the bomb mask. And, uh, hang on. I don't have any bombs. So, yeah, I have to use the bomb mask right quick. And there we go. And let's go get the rupees. But, yeah, now let's go see Anju. Late again, I see. Always late. Alright. Well, just in case you don't know what's going on still, again, you should have watched the first, or the, the two last videos. But, uh, she says she has a letter for us, and we have to deliver it in the morning. But, literally, you can put it in the post box anytime before the postman picks it up. So, be sure to do that, and we're gonna go put in the mail, and, um, yeah, you could ask this from me. So, we got ourselves the letter again. To Cafe! So, yeah, I'll meet you when... We deliver the letter. So I'm going to go deliver this mail that's closest to cafe. So let's go put this in here. And there we go. Yeah. Ka-ching. And there we go. All right. Okay. So now he's got to find the letter inside this post box. And now I'll see you when he delivers, delivers it. So I'm here in the laundry pool waiting for the postman to arrive because he takes the longest way. Now, like you see the map, he starts off on the the left corner of the West Clock Town. Like, if you look at the map, you could identify West Clock Town from here. It's very easy to, to look at it. He goes all the way to the right, then down, and then he takes a, a left at that bottom entrance. Hopefully you guys know what I'm talking about. I mean, it might be easier to follow if you know where, it, where the areas are in the map, but that... Uh, reverse Y shape or whatever that reverse G I guess it, it heads towards the middle and then towards that face looking thing because if you see the two boxes they kind of look like eyeballs and the line kind of looks like a smiley face and the and the little hook thing looks like a nose I never noticed that before but yeah if you uh, ever notice before if you hit the bell and here comes the mailman I see him oh he doesn't answer still that's a bit weird Oh, sure, but then when the postman comes, oh, yeah, definitely, he's going to ring the bell, and then there we go, and then he goes, open the door, and what the heck, man? What, you don't like my sword slashing on your bell or something? What is your problem? But, uh, yeah, he's got to get the mail, and uh, I'm just going to go meet him inside. Might as well. I'll just wait in. I'll, I'll just wait inside for him, because they'll be open. He just leaves it open, and he just picks up the mail. 
Um, other times, because I was expecting him just to open the door and just so he could go back in and close it because it's, he knows it's not the postman he's waiting for. Uh, but yeah, like I said, if you have not watched the last video, um, <laughs> this is probably going to ruin it for you because I'm not going to skip towards the text just to explain what's going on because I already shown all this. Uh, this is the quadrilogy, of course, and, um, you probably should have watched it. So, here we go. Basically, now, he knows that Andrew wrote him, uh, wrote about me in the diary, or not the diary, the, the note, and he's gonna say that he's cafe, and now I'm gonna go get the, um, letter back and deliver it to Andrew, basically, and that he's awaiting for Seikon. Because he's gonna be into the, in the curiosity shop, and that's how he's gonna try to find him out and try to get back that wedding ceremony mask that he says in the diary. So that's basically what's going on right here. Just in case you don't know what's what's happening. Oh, not a letter. It's a pendant. Sorry, the pendant of memories. I should be ashamed. I already knew about this. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna go be right back because we're gonna go deliver the pendant of memories to Anju. So yeah, now we're gonna go give him, give her the pendant of memories. So let's go do that right quick. So yeah, and now she's just thanking me for doing that. So now we're gonna be right back to the end of the night. Actually, yeah, yeah, uh, I'll meet you when stuff goes down yet again. This guy's always out of the way, but I got ourselves some more rupees I'm gonna turn in in a second, so yeah. Freaking, freaking move, jeez. Oh my gosh, I had a feeling, I had a feeling. Oh, he sees me, does he? Back the heck up. That's actually scary to know. <laughs> He's going closer to me. Oh, jeez. That's bad. And... There we go. Okay, so I killed him. Sniped! I just wanted to get this 200 rupees right quick. Woo! Yeah! Yeah! Alright! Wait, so... Okay. Well, uh, might as well that is still going to be recording. I might as well... Go get this thing right here. Just to get it over with. Just wanted to collect the 500 close to it at least, you know. That type of thing. 3,533 rupees. And I'm going to go deposit 491. Alright, so we should be passing 4,000 now. 4,024. Yeah! Yeah! So close. I've been making some huge progress ever since I got that 500 wallet. But uh, I'm going to go back to the laundry pool because around 1 o'clock, like I mentioned in the last episode, there should be something over here. So, ooh, I made it cool. Alright. So, the curiosity shop man should be here because he is collabing with Cafe. And uh, normally he would give you the Keton mask. You know, again, we're just saying this just in case you didn't see the last episode. But since we already got it, he's going to give us the express mail to Mama instead. And uh, yeah, a customer came to my shop last night. Now, Cafe sees him, and Cafe's color has just changes, and he goes running after the guy. But yeah, now uh, we all know that Cafe's got to go after him and such. Um,. But we're going to see where exactly, because we're, we don't know yet. We, we literally don't know. And that's where we're going to find out next time. But for right now, uh, we're going to show the different method you could do to turning in this mail. So we're here on the night of the final day. There's 12 hours remaining. And uh, the post office is actually open in this time. Because the alternative way of doing this, instead of hand delivering it to the mom... You could give it to the postman because this is priority mail. Just in case you don't know, again, you should have saw the last episode. Probably should stop mentioning that, but yeah. The mom and the dad, the, uh, they're probably the most important people in this town because the dad is the mayor, of course. So since Cafe is the son of the mayor, 
he's able to get this priority mail. And it's like the top line, obviously, it's like the seal, is is basically the John Cena of mail. So <laughs> let's just put it that way. And as you see him right here, I don't know what's going on with him. He looks kind of depressed about something. Hey, dude, uh, we got some mail for you. Oh, I want to flee, but, but it's not really on the schedule. To, to me, the delivery schedule is the highest priority. Well, I got this uh, priority mail for you. Th this is priority mail seal. This is the highest of priorities. I shall deliver it. All right, so uh, he's just got to not kick me out, I suppose. And uh, yeah, this is what the alternative way of doing it, because of course the postman's got to do his job instead of me doing it for him. And uh, yeah, let's go see what he has to do about this. Of course, we already know that the mom is at the milk bar. So uh, just to say right now, I'm sorry for that little mini cut. It's just I just wanted to make it better because I kind of said it all janky. So that's the only reason, really. <laughs> but yeah, he's going to go straight to the milk bar. Instead of just taking a really long way, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Might as well put the ca cafe's mask since she doesn't really recognize us or anything. I just wanted to fill in the spot. But yeah, let's go see. Um, but yeah, the turning it in yourself will just get you Ch Chato Romani milk bottle. Uh, gee, I just can't talk today. Chato Romani's milk bottle and uh, we don't need <laughs> Romani's mask to go inside because the place hasn't opened yet. So let's go see what's going on over here. This is the alternative way again. Yeah. I have a delivery for you, postmistress. Oh my, it can't be. You're still here? Tomorrow's delivery is still scheduled. What are you saying? Did you see the sky? It's terrible. But, but. Oh my. Well, what shall we do? It's from Cafe. Yeah. It's priority mail. I'm so happy to think something good will come in the end. Thank you. You flee now. That's an order. Understood. Oh, jeez. Do you have anything to say? Hello? I always have to talk to you from the back, aren't I? Oh dear, are you alright with not fleeing? It looks like this is it for this town, you know. You saw the moon, didn't you? It's gotten so huge! All the townsfolk have fled. You should flee too! Far away! What if I go be cafe? Is it... Oh dear, you're the one searching for cafe! How is it? Have you found him? Did you, did you not read the letter? I can see you can't because you're incapable of reading when your eyes always squinting. What the heck, man? Oh dear, is that so? You haven't found him. Huh. Well, that's enough. Good work. Now you flee too. What about you? It's kind of depressing to think that you're going to be here drinking milk instead of going with the mayor or something. But yeah, now the postman has been ordered to leave. Let's go check on him right quick. Right. Hey, buddy, how's it going? I have decided to flee. It is an order from the postmaster. I am now free. I can set my own schedule. I don't need this anymore. So here, I'll let you have it. You know, you kind of talk like me. You got the postman's hat. This dignified hat allows you to check on the mail. It might just suit you. So you saved a troubled public servant. This was added to your notebook. Oh my gosh, he's just skipping along. He's so happy. Too bad in four hours, if he doesn't hurry, he's going to get blown to smithereens. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. So if you like this episode, don't forget to press the like button. If you really like this episode, please consider subscribing. If you haven't considered subscribing yet, please watch another one of my videos. I play the video games, and if you like video games, you might like my stuff. With that being said, join with the White Tigers and Dragons, and White Tigers and Dragons, to you.
Welcome to the bonus feature sub of the outro. So we're here in the final day during the night time, and on the final day, Andrew and her family are staying at Kremia's place at Romani's ranch, and you see all of them here. And this is what happens when you do not give the penny of memories to Andrew. And as you can see, oh, towards is your late. Tomorrow's another early day, so good night. I'll read you a story tomorrow. And over here is Andrew's mother, who told her to go over here in the first place. I've been a little harsh on Andrew, but. It's fine this way. Right now, surviving is the important thing. It's not exactly called survival, just staying in one room. It's still gonna hit this place. But here's uh, Andrew. Perhaps I was wrong. But he said so. The morning of the ceremony, he come meet me in my room. And I promised him I would wait. But already, it's too late, isn't it? 